Hello everybody and welcome to 2022 online map expo. Look what we have here, all of these resources that can be used in a classroom. Welcome everyone to the map count booth. And I'm your host, Kimberly Williams. Alright, so at the map count booth, we are going to look at some two-sided counters. Now, can anybody tell me what the two-sided counters can be used to teach? We miss um, integers. Integers. That's awesome. Very good. Now, the two-sided counters, like you said, it can be used to teach integers. All right. So we are going to demonstrate how these can be used. So right here, we have three plus two. And everybody knows the answer to three plus two. What is it? That's easy, five. Wow, we have such brilliant students. All right, so three plus two. So now, if the counter is on the nude color it is positive but if it is on the red color it means it is negative all right so that's what we're going to use so let's look at the three that we have so the first one is three plus two so is this three a positive three or a negative three Positive, positive. Awesome. So it's a positive three. So I'm going to look now. I'm going to take up three counters. And then when I place them, I'm going to place them on the nude side. So one, two, three. All right. So now the sign that follows is going to tell me what I'm going to do. So it is a plus. It's a plus sign. So I'm going to add. How many counters am I going to add? Everybody may come from the right. so, uh, uh, primary. So let's look at the three that we have. Two. Two, that's right. So I'm going to add two counters. And what kind of two? Positive. Yeah, a positive two. So I'm going to put it on the new side. So it's two. So I have three. I have positive three. And I have two. So what is three and two combined? That's right. So I have five. Awesome. Now, the next one, we have 3 minus 2. What's 3 minus 2? 1. Okay, so now we're going to use our counters to demonstrate. So, like I said before, so I need 3 on the new side. And this sign says minus 2. So, minus 2. Or we can look at it as negative 2. So what we can do for this is either take 2 from the 3 or we can make 0 pairs. So I'm going to place a negative counter. I'm going to place a negative counter on top of one of the positive counters and I need two of them so this is now a zero pair so I'm putting it so once you group them and one is showing a different color than the other it's called a zero pair and zero pair gives us zero so I'm taking that one and then this is another zero pair so we take 
so I'm taking out the zero pair so how many am I left with after I taking out the zero pairs I'm left with only one one counter awesome all right so the next one positive counters so since the threes were negative and I have two positives so we are having two different signs again so it means we are going to make zero pairs so this one covers that and this covers that so these are zero pairs so I'm taking my zero pairs out so what am I left with right negative so the answer is negative y all right and now we have negative 3 minus 2 so I need a negative 3 and we have minus 2 so again the minus 2 can be used as negative numbers right so this sign I am not having any zero pairs but in fact I have all negatives so how many negatives do I have in all? The five negative me We had this both signs in the middle so we have two signs in the middle instead of one what are we going to do then Mr. Kana to sign them there so for this one I want us to look at this sheet and for the teachers for your students you can actually write these on the board so if we have two signs side by side and make sure you tell the students that these signs must be either a positive or a negative sign. So it works for positive and negative. So if two sides are side by side, the first says P if it's a plus or a positive sign. Alright? And the second and the first if the first is a negative then it means that you must take all right so if the first sign is positive it means you're going to keep the other sign and if it's negative you're going to take the other sign and the next point says the second has to listen to the first so the second sign must listen to the first sign. So if it says keep, then we're going to keep. If it says take, then I'm going to take. All right? So let, let's go on to the activity. So we have positive three plus a negative two. So we have two signs in the middle. So we just thought that like if the first sign is a plus or a positive we are going to keep the second one so we are going to keep the negative so it's 3 minus 2 okay so 3 minus 2 because we're keeping the negative so it's 3 minus 2 so I'm going to get 
using the positive counters right and it says I'm going to take two so we're getting a zero pairs here so I need the negative counters for the two but the two is negative so the zero pairs taking this and I'm placing it on that one and another one so these are zero pairs so I take out my zero pairs and what do I have left one positive now for the next one you have three take positive two so we have two in the middle so this one says I'm supposed to take away the positive so if I take away the positive side from the two it is now going to be a what? negative a negative that's awesome so we have a negative two. So it's three and a negative two. So we get three positive counters. And then we need two negative counters. So it's very similar, see? Similar to one above because we did the same thing. So we make zero pairs. Taking out the zero pair and I'm taking out the other one. So look, I have one left. Awesome. Wow, look at this one. Now the signs in the middle are the same. Hmm. But let's keep following the rules. So it says three take negative two. So I'm taking away the negative from the two. So if I take away the negative, the two is going to be a positive positive awesome so we have three positive counters over here and then our two positive counters because we took away the negative from it so it's now positive so I'm grouping them so now I have five right we have five let's do it for the next one so the next one oh look at this now the three is negative so we have negative three plus negative two so we have a negative so let's get three negative counters and then we're going to keep the negative on the two so we are keeping the negative on the two so we have Two negative counters so since they have the same colors and grouping them so in all I have negative, negative five right all right so this one we have a negative three minus positive two so I'm taking the positive away from the two, so it is now a negative. Negative, awesome. So we have three negative, and then we have two negative. So in all, I have five. All right, and this one negative 3 take negative 2 so, so I'm taking away the negative from the 2 so it is now a positive so I need 3 negative counters so 3 negative counters then I have two positive oh so since the sign the colors are different we're going to make zero pairs so that's one zero pair off and another one so what am I left with one negative right. um, 
that's how we use counters to do addition and subtraction of integers. And thank you for visiting my booth. For the counters, which is the counters, the challenges that you might face is that one, sometimes the students may get confused whether it is a positive or a negative. They so have to remind that this side, this color is positive, and that one means negative. All right. Also, when the signs are in the middle, if there are two signs, they might get confused as well. So the teachers need to ensure that they write out the form that I have on the paper. They need to write it on the board so that the students can remember or they can take it off in their books. Okay, they still to remember. All right. Yes, I am Kim, and I went to the best school, since yeah. you school for girls. Yes, I'm, yes, I'm a math wit. I don't know why some of these students are acting like they're better than me, but no, they're not. 